Ooh. <laughs> Almost tipped over in the chair. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Uh, I think I've got some things figured out on the programming side. We'll get that in a minute. Um, my vision, I think, is still improving. Uh, subtly. I, I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's not like the first, say, week. You know, every day I was like, oh, I could see that better. Oh, I could see that better. I could see farther. Uh, so, what I'm noticing is that when I'm typing on my phone, um, I don't have to zoom in with the magnifier and get in with my thumb and make sure, you know, I'm tapping the right button. Um, I think I've said this before, but it seems to be getting clearer um, as to where each button is to push the letter. Um, I can't necessarily read the letters, <laughs> not yet, um, but it is getting clearer. Um, so that's good. Uh, <laughs> basically, on Sunday, I totally failed. I felt, uh, I felt like crap on Sunday. Um, I woke up late. I woke up at like 20 to 9, um, which is late for me. And I was supposed to do my first dosage at 8 o'clock, take all my vitamins and do red light and everything. Um, but I didn't do that until like 10. <laughs> And then I was just feeling really sick. Um, I got health problems, man. <laughs> MS and, and different stuff. So uh, it's not to do with the treatment I'm doing for to get vision back. It's nothing to do with that. Um, but sometimes I get really, really, really hot and sweaty. Um, just randomly. And then I throw up. And I didn't want to do that because I just took all my pills. So I just said, fuck this, I'm going back to bed. And then I went back to bed and I didn't get up till 3. So, uh, missed another dose. <laughs> Supposed to do my treatment, my second vitamins and methylene blue and everything at 2 o'clock. Um, so I didn't get that done until like 3. And everything was just off schedule. And on the second one, uh, second dose of the day at 2 o'clock, I didn't even do red light. I don't know why. I just had other shit to do. I had housework and... I finally felt good, and I don't know. <laughs> it was just a, um, it was a day. Uh, so, um, still taking methylene blue. Um, I'm getting close to 30 days of taking the methylene blue. I'm on day 22, I think. Started on the 10th, 21. Day 21. So, uh, it's day 21. <laughs> um, and I have, I think, more than enough methylene blue to make it until the 10th of April, because I started March 10th, um, so that would be 30 days, or well, actually 31, so I make it to the 9th, that'd be 30. <laughs> um, so I think that one bottle of methylene blue, um, the one that I bought was a two ounce bottle for $31 and change. Um, I don't know, there's two things in the world that give electrons to complex four. We all know the first one. We all can't really get access to the first one because it's so damn expensive. It's under studies and all this different stuff and Debenone gives electrons to complex four. So that's good. We like a Debenone. The reason I was saying fuck a Debenone it's $180 a bottle for a controlled dosage of 900 milligrams per day. From my experience with the Devinone, I know that doesn't do anything for me. So, I need to have two bottles of $180 a month. Well, fuck that, I don't have the money for this shit. <laughs> but, uh, Methylene Blue, it seems like a month's supply is $31. And it's the other thing in the world that gives electrons to complex four. There's two, methylene blue and adebinone. Uh, for me personally, for me, I found my replacement for adebinone because it gives electrons to complex four just like adebinone. 
cool. How much should I take? Well, we say 900. Okay, cool. Well, in my personal experience, for me, that's not going to do anything. So I've wasted $180 per month. So if giving electrons to Complex 4 doesn't actually do anything, I'd rather waste $30 a month than $180 a month. That's my I'm broke mentality, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. So on the uh, programming side, I'm kind of done with my update about the Vision Quest. Things are still improving um, slowly and maybe not.